Hi, and welcome to Learn WordPress. Let's explore WordPress 6.5. First up, let's talk about the improvements to the cover block. Aspect ratio has been added to the cover block, and you can control this option globally for all cover blocks or set the control for each individual one. Let's see how it works and the benefits for mobile viewing. As you can see, I have added two cover blocks. If I select the top cover block and open styles, we can scroll down and see the new option, namely aspect ratio. And for this example, I'm not going to change the aspect ratio. We will keep it original. But for the second example, I'm going to change the aspect ratio so that we can compare. So you can change it to, for example, classic, which is three by two. Or for this example, I'll change it to standard. And once we hit save, we can preview this page on mobile. And now you will see that the image of the top cover block has been cropped by default. But the image of the bottom cover block has maintained the proportion of the aspect ratio set. So if you don't want an image to be cropped, or if you want all your cover block images to look the same regardless of the dimensions of an image, you can use the aspect ratio feature. Another new feature of the cover block is that an overlay color will automatically be applied based on the image. So when I added this image, an overlay was automatically applied. And when we replace this image, we will see that a different overlay is added based on the image. And you can of course change or modify the overlay opacity or the overlay color as you please. Next, let's talk about renaming blocks as well as the improved drag and drop functionality in the list view. In 6.4, we were able to rename the group block. But now with 6.5, we are able to rename any block. So to do that, let's open up the list view, select the relevant block, in this case, the first block, which is a group block, click on the three vertical dots, and then scroll down to rename. And now we can use a descriptive name for this block. And now we can do this for any other block. So let's select the columns block, for example, click on the three vertical dots, and you will also see the rename option. And the same applies for the cover block or any other block that you've added. I'm also very excited about the improved drag and drop functionality. When you drag and drop a block now, you don't have the blue line anymore, and you can clearly see the name of the block and where it will be placed. I think you will agree, this has been a much needed update. Next, it is also worth mentioning that the box shadow functionality has been added to more blocks, such as the buttons block, columns block, and image block. So when you select the buttons block, for example, you can open up the Styles tab, scroll down to the bottom, and you will see Border and Shadow. Click on the three vertical dots and then select Shadow. Click on Drop Shadow, and then select between the various options available. And now we can do exactly the same for the Image block. So I will select the image, and follow the same process as before. And for the image, I will select a deep shadow. And as you can see, we have added two different types of shadows to our blocks. When we turn our attention to the site editor, we will see new powerful views for pages, patterns, templates, and template parts, which will allow you to customize what you see. Let's start by looking at patterns and template parts. So the first thing we'll see when we open our patterns tab is a new look and feel. And at the top, you will see a smaller search block as well as a refreshed look for filtering between synced and non-synced patterns. Something else to highlight is you can also now easily make a theme pattern your own by merely clicking on the three vertical dots and selecting 
duplicate. 6.5 also allows you to rename or delete a category. So when you select the category and click on the three vertical dots top right, you will be able to rename the category or delete it. And please take note, when you delete a category, the patterns within the category will not be deleted. They will be added to the uncategorized category for the time being. When we make our way to template parts, for example, our header template parts, we will see that they are structured in the same way. And when you click on view more, you will have more filtering options. Then we can make our way to manage all template parts. And here you are able to add filters. And when you click on more options, you will be able to change the layout from table to grid. And this will allow you to view all your template parts in grid view. This visual representation of your template parts will be helpful for many. And this works exactly the same for pages and templates as well. So if we make our way to templates and click on manage all templates, we will be able to do the same thing. You will be able to view and filter your templates in grid view. And as mentioned, it works exactly the same for pages. Next, style revisions in the site editor has also undergone an upgrade. If we make our way to styles and click on revisions, we will see more granular timestamps as well as a short summary of changes made. So for example, when you click on a revision, you will be able to see a preview of the previously saved style on the left and a summary of the changes made below the timestamp. And remember, you can revert back to any previous style by clicking on apply. The other great feature to mention is that you can also view revisions in the style book. As you will see, you can use revisions in the style book to get a different angle and see changes not visible on the template you are on. One of the main features that have landed with 6.5 is the addition of the font library. When you make your way to typography and click on manage fonts, you will firstly see all the fonts that come with your theme as well as their variants. And this is the place where you can install, remove and activate fonts across your entire site. When you click on install fonts, you will notice that Google Fonts is automatically included. You merely have to click on allow access to Google Fonts. And when you make your way to upload, you can manually upload fonts from your computer. Next, as you may know, the light box feature allows an image to take over the screen once selected. It is important to note in 6.5, this feature has moved from the settings sidebar to the content toolbar alongside link settings. Select expand on click to activate the light box functionality. And remember, you can also do this globally in the site editor. Lastly, I wanted to point out another UI improvement. Templates are now better organized between theme templates, custom templates, and templates that have been added by plugins. Enjoy exploring and using 6.5 and all the updates and new features.